Hello friends, welcome back to the Craft Castle. It is the end of the school year and what that means for us is that I get to do a end of this year celebration for my kiddos. In a previous video, I showed you how to make these Mario and Luigi cutouts and even that green centerpiece. And today I'm gonna show you how to make a cake topper in a Mario theme. So I reached out to one of my local cake bakers here in town. I absolutely love her. She has the best tasting cupcakes Ever. And I sent her a picture of something that I'm looking for. And I just told her, I'm like, look, I just want a circle cupcake thing. She has no idea what I'm about ready to do for it. Let me show you what I ordered from her. Okay, so this is the cupcakes. It's a, like a cupcake pull apart cupcake thing. Do I keep saying cupcake? How annoying am I? <laughs> but anyways, so it's a pull apart cupcake thing and in the middle is a lake, right? So I want to make like a Mario Kart logo type deal to go on the inside of that. And then the rainbow track is supposed to be like the rainbow road, you know, that Mario track it is my favorite track that Mario Kart has. So I got off Amazon these like small little Mario Kart racers and I'm gonna put them around that and I'm gonna make some flags and stuff like that. But really the middle portion of it, I want it to be like the Mario Kart logo. So then I went over to Google and I just searched up Mario Kart just so I can kind of get an idea of what I wanna create. And this one right here is perfect for me. Absolutely perfect. I'm not wanting it to say Mario Kart Deluxe. I actually want to say like summer starts now or something to do with the end of the celebration. Just like over here in this large poster that I created, it says level complete because they just completed a grade. So I think like something like woohoo summer or something. Um, and we're going to make it look like this. You can make it any wording that you want. I'm just gonna show you how to find the, find the fonts, download the fonts, put it into Cricut Design Space, how to cut it, assemble it. Cake toppers are so stinking easy. If you are brand new to Cricut, making a cake topper is like one of the easiest things that you could possibly do. Okay, so for this project, I'm only going to be using cardstock for this, and then I'm also gonna be using a clear cake stick that I offer all in my cardstock shop. Okay, so let's get started. The very first thing that you're going to want to do is open up a window in Google, and anytime, it doesn't matter if it's like a McDonald's theme, Chick-fil-A, Wendy's, Mario Kart, Call of Duty, any Fortnite, any, theme that you're looking for. If you're trying to recreate and replicate logos and designs and themes, this is exactly what I do. If you notice this font that I already have pulled up is almost the exact replicate of this font. And that's exactly what we want. How do I get there? All you do is, is in a blank Google thing, I just put Mario Kart font. That's all I put, and then I just press enter. Okay, so like all these results are gonna pull up. Generally, the first like one or two links that you'll click is the font that you're gonna be looking for. And all I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go into font meme and I'm gonna hit this, click this link. And then there it is, like right there, right? That's same thing that we have here. Now, if you wanted to, you could scroll down here. You don't even necessarily, have to download the font because what you could do, like let's just say I want it to say Mario Kart. What you could do is you could press generate and see this right here. You could save this. So right click and save image to download. And so you don't necessarily have to download the font into your computer if you didn't want to. For me, I'm always someone that like wants to download the fonts. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna press download. Font Meme is a website that I do trust. Now there are certain websites and it kind of like gets scary because you're downloading like fonts off the internet and you don't know if they have viruses or not. I've downloaded a lot of fonts off of Font Meme and knock on wood, I've never had any issues. So I'm just gonna press download. It's gonna go into my downloads folder. I'm gonna find my download. Here it is in the preview. And then I'm gonna press install. Okay, if you already have a window open in Design Space, like let's just say that this was already open. If you were to try and put in a text and we'll just change it to Mario, we would go over into font and then system and we're gonna search up that Mario font. See how it's not here, the Super Mario font, that's another font that I found off Creative Fabrica. That is in here, right? But the Mario Kart font is not. 
So what you need to do is, is if you've already had this window open, we're gonna go up here into view and we're gonna force reload. That being said, if you did not have a window open and you were opening up uh, Design Space for the very first time after you press the download font, you shouldn't have to do this portion because it's already going to be like reloaded for you. But if you go and try and do these steps and the font's not there yet, just make sure and force reload. So let's go in and add a text box and we'll put in Mario again. We're going to go over here into font, change it over into system font, and then we're going to put in Mario. And see now it's here and it wasn't here before, right? That's exactly what we want. Perfect. Okay, so now it, it now's the time that we're just gonna try and figure out like what font we want, which is honestly the hardest. Like what kind of wording do I want for my cake topper? Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is yay for summer. <laughs> I'm sure I could probably figure out better wording for this, but you know what? My kids are just excited for summertime. I don't think that they're gonna judge me for the wording that I chose for their cake topper. Okay, and let's reference back over into the logo. Do you see how on the second line, we'll go back over here. You see how this yay for this summer portion, it actually looks like it's a different font than this. And this is how helpful the internet is. If you just go over into Google search and put in like Mario Kart deluxe font, see this right here from defont.com. I absolutely love this website. If you click on this, this is called the forum and there's like a lot of people with questions and someone's looking for, I want that deluxe thing and see how someone already suggested the Obatron font. So what I did was, is I went over, I clicked this link, have a new tab right here and you can download families off of Google Fonts. I don't think I'm gonna do that. What I'm gonna do is I copied this, I put it over into a new window in Google, and let's paste it, and we'll do Obatron font. Okay, and you see how this one right here has popped up? I clicked that and came over here, and this seems to be the font that's used for the cart. If you look at this U right here, See how it's kind of has a couple little angles on the corner of that U. If we come over here and you see this U, kind of looks pretty similar. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to download this, doing the same steps we did before. Uh, I'm gonna go to the medium one. I only wanna download one of them. You could download them all if you wanted to. Okay, so now going back over in Design Safes, because I've already put a text box in, right? And it's and I just downloaded a new font. The same thing that we are going to do before is we're gonna go over to your view and force reload. When you do this, this yay for summer thing is going to disappear. It's okay because we just started. So I'm not too concerned about having to start all over. However, if you, or like deep into this process, make sure you save before you do that. Okay, so let's go back over into a text box and I'm just gonna do yay for summer again, just because I've decided that's the wording I want. Now let's come over here into font, system, and I'm gonna do Mario. We're gonna do Mario Kart. Now remember, I want that second line to be a new font, that new font we just downloaded. I don't want this font, right, for the second line. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna go into advanced and I'm gonna ungroup to lines. So now the top line is separated from the bottom line. So I am going to now have that bottom line clicked. I'm gonna go over here into fonts and now I'm gonna search up that Obatron and I'm gonna now click on it and look, it kind of looks like the Mario logo, the Mario Kart logo, right? I love it. Okay, let's go back over into our logo. Oh, that person right there. That ad, did you see that ad? Where was that? This, just scared. I was like, oh my gosh, there's someone behind me. Oof. Okay, let's go back over into the original Google search we did and we are gonna reference back over to this. So it looks like the top of that is kind of this like grayish color. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a mirror silver for this. So I'm gonna go back over into here and you see how the line spacing is like really tight. So let's go over here. And yay for, yay for, I'm gonna come up here into advanced and I'm just gonna ungroup the letters. Okay, click out of that. And now I'm gonna press shift on my keyboard. I'm gonna click that R and then I'm just gonna toggle over with my key strokes until I get really tight to that O. When I'm done doing that, I'm gonna now press shift on my keyboard and then that O. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna make it tight, close to that F. Shift on my keyboard, clicking that F and I'm gonna go straight over really close to that Y. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a breathing room. Okay, now shift on our keyboard and I'm gonna click that Y 
making it tight just like we did before. Shift on the keyboard, click in that A. We're gonna go so close. Okay, now that we have that, I'm gonna press Shift on my keyboard and then that Y. I'm gonna change this over into light gray. And it looks like the O, I don't know, the O just kind of got placed there really weird. So let's like select all, align it vertically. That seems to be a little bit better. Okay, so let's go over in referencing the logo and it has like an outset, right? So what we're gonna do is, is with everything selected, we're gonna come over here into offset and you see this blue line that's around that gray? That's gonna be our offset. That's what's gonna be our black border around that. So just your design's eye, whatever makes you happy. However, here's the kicker. Let me click out of that and I'm gonna drag this down just so we can see what we're doing here. If we have this selected and you go over here into offset and you go little, do you see how these two portions right here are not connected? That means that the back portion of your offset is not going to be connected. Now you could probably get away with not doing that for this project, but if it's gonna be my back layer, I always want the back layer to be the most welded portion of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna create this offset and I'm gonna make sure that the two letters right here are gonna be connected. So let me just drag this over until I get just a little enough connection to be it all welded. Okay, so when I have that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure it's all welded and I'm gonna press apply. That's gonna turn into black. And if we go back over into our design, doesn't that kind of look like that? Just different wording? Yeah, I'm so excited. Okay, now that we have that, I'm just gonna select my back layer and then all my letters, and I'm gonna Command G, which is group. You could also right click if you wanted to. Okay, let's drag this up. Okay, going back over into our original logo, this one seems to have a little bit of breathing room, which is great. But the only kicker here is that there is another offset and that offset is like a rainbow neon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click back over into my design space and I'm gonna create another offset. So let's go over here to offset. And we're gonna create that offset. Doing the same thing we did before, we're gonna make sure that all the letters are connected. When that's done, we're just gonna press apply. Okay, so I think for this, because I don't actually have this like super cool rainbow cardstock. However, what I do have is this like holographic. It, do you see that? It kind of has a rainbow to it, but it is holographic. So I think that's what I'm gonna use for that portion of the project. So I'm gonna change that over into like a lighter blue color, just because like for me, I always do like a lighter blue kind of does like for, for like holographic. But if you have a different color, use a different color. This is just the same color that I always use for holographic. Okay, let's go back over into our design and you see how it's black, right? So let's go over here. We're gonna click that somewhere. We're gonna come over here into operation and we're gonna change that over to black. Okay, going back over into our design, do you see how Mario Kart is, is bigger than Deluxe? Deluxe is smaller. So I'm just going to resize these. Before we resize, I'm gonna select summer and our offset and I'm gonna group, so command G, which is group. Resize summer to where it's gonna be smaller than yay for. That being said, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm also going to drag this up and I want them to be touching. So the top of summer to the bottom of yay, I want it to be touching. Don't worry about it not being centered perfectly because we're gonna fix that here in a second. And then I'm gonna select everything, align it to the center. And when you have that done, we're gonna select everything and we're gonna command D, which is duplicate. And let's go down here into combined and then weld. Okay, so this is going to be our welded backdrop for this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep this black. The way that I'm going to layer this is I'm gonna do yay four kind of in the back with summer being like the front portion. That being said, since we have that done, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna command shift G and I am going to delete my original offset. That way when we go and we and when we assemble this, let's just drag up our welded thing together. We're gonna arrange this to the back. So what you're gonna do is, is when you cut this, you are going to have this and you're gonna glue your gray on top of that. Then you're gonna glue your summer portion separate and then when you're done, you're gonna glue this on top of this. Does that make sense? We'll assemble it together here in a minute. Okay, and 
any cake topper you do, and I even showed it here over on the uh, Mario and Luigi cutouts, there is gonna be a fair amount of ugly behind there. You're gonna have your stick, you're gonna have some glue, you're gonna have leftover residue from your Cricut mats, and it's ugly, and I'm all about hiding that ugly. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna click the very back portion of our cake topper. We're gonna Command D, which is duplicate, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here into flip, and I'm gonna flip horizontally. So when you go and glue, cut this, it's going to be backwards. But when you go and glue it, what happens is, is you're going to take this one that is going to be your uh, flipped and you're going to flip it around. So now everything that is ugly is going to be sandwiched in between these two layers. And the very back portion of this never touched your mats, picking up zero nastiness. All right, so now for the very most important part is we're gonna select everything. We're gonna align it to the center. Okay, so for my cake topper, she said that it is five and a half inches wide. So this is like the most important thing is you do not wanna make a cake topper that is way bigger than what you need it. So right now with the way we designed it, it was 10.2 inches, which is way too large for that cake or for the cupcakes that she made. So I'm gonna change this over into five and a half inches. So I'm gonna go into uh, the width making sure this is locked because you don't want to distort the font that you've already created, right? So I'm gonna change this over to 5.5 and then just press return. And it's a little bit small, but you know what? In the height, it's only about one and a half inches, but that's okay because we're gonna have a whole lot with these cupcakes. And then we're just going to save it and we'll go ahead and cut it. Okay, now we're in the cut screen and everything should be where it's at. You're just gonna need a little bit of silver, a little bit of black, and then some holographic, I think that's it. I mean, shoot, that was easy. Okay, go ahead and cut those and we'll assemble this together. Okay, so of course, as I was cutting this out, I decided that I wanted to do like my flat matte light gray. I think that would look best with all of this because there was just a whole lot of glitter and I think it was just going to be too much. Okay, so I always like to keep my stuff like on my mats just so it's gonna be easier to handle and I don't lose the pieces. I'm gonna come over here, take this summer off. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my favorite precision craft glue. I love it because it has a fine needle point and then in the lid, there is like a like a pin stuck in here. So it you never get lost, but then you can always unclog the, uh, the needle. Okay, and then I always like to just pick this up, do a little bit of glue. You don't need a whole lot of glue because paper is supposed to stay flat. And we're just gonna place this down. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry for a second just so it doesn't move around with for, on me. Then I'm gonna take this summer portion. This is our front portion because it's the one that you can read, right? This is my black glitter cardstock. Look at that. And then look, zero shedding. Yeah, this is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna lay this down and I am going to now glue the plane on top of the glitter. Oh, I'm really glad that I decided to forego extra glitter and only do plain for right here because I think it's going to make everything else just pop. Okay, Nancy over at Fanciful Chaos has these really cool colored foamies and I think what I'm going to do is add in a couple foamies to this portion of it to the bottom so I can layer out the, um, the summer so it will really pop and stand out. I cut this in half since it's so small and teeny. Okay, I pe peeled the little papers off of my foamy, so now they are all ready to be stuck together. I'm gonna lift this portion up and I am just gonna layer this on top. Ooh, yes, this is like the best idea ever. <laughs> yeah, okay, so now let's go over here into our back portion. I am gonna take that off rub out any of the extras that were left over. Okay, I'm using a clear cake stick. You can use a wooden one if you wanted to. I'm just gonna use a clear one just so it looks like it's floating into my cake versus like a uh, wood, piece of wood. Okay, before we do anything more, let's take this portion off of our mat because we're gonna need to work pretty quick. Now, I'm gonna use hot glue. That's gonna be the quickest and easiest way to do this but you have to work quick when you do hot glue. Oops, do a little bit of glue on top of your stick. Oh, <laughs> okay. I love this. Heck yes. Look at that. That's exactly what we wanted. And the back is so cute and it's black and glittery. Here's the front 
Oh my goodness. Okay, now let me go and grab my cupcake stuff from my friend Zoe and then I will show you the unfinished product with a little cute little Mario Karts on there. Okay, so my kids are home from school. I do not get back in time with these cupcakes to finish assembling this in my kitchen. So we're still here in the craft castle, my goodness. Okay, so I got these things off of Amazon, these like small little, I don't know, they're really teeny, about like an inch and a half long. They're very small. Got them off Amazon for like 10 bucks. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so stinking cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, do you see that? How stinking adorable. All right, then this thing is just gonna go straight up in the middle of it. Look at that. Oh. I am in love. I have this peach thing that I had made. I wonder if like, if I pull this out a little bit. Mm. I don't know, what do you think? With or without this? I think for sure my kids are going to love this. And doesn't this just remind you of the Mario Kart logo? Look at the stinking cupcakes. Oh my goodness, love it. Then we got the centerpieces and a backdrop. This is perfect for an end of the school year celebration. Okay, now back to this. Should I put this right here and lift that up or should I leave this off? What do you think? All right, y'all, I sure hope I inspired you to create and celebrate and I will see you later.